my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradle. Hey guys, it's Skylar, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really exciting. This is my first ever face paint that I've done here on YouTube. Now, I have done a couple of face paints in the past, but they all are on my Instagram. This is gonna be more of like a tutorial based sort of face paint rather than me just sitting here and you watching. I'm going to kind of talk you through how I am going to go about doing it. But with that being said, if you are interested in seeing me turn myself into a Cyclops, then just keep watching. It's been a heckin' long time since I've done a face paint. I was unsure of like what to do and I wanted to do something not overly complicated. The last one I did where I transformed myself like into a half alien, that was a lot of work to do and it took a lot of time. So I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit more simple, especially if you're a beginner, I think that it'd be easier to pull this off than who my last face paint that I did. Now I wasn't sure for the longest time what I wanted to do for a face paint, but then I happened to come across this photo. I think I found it on Google actually. And it was like a Barbie doll, but it was a Cyclops. And I was like, this is the perfect thing. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm going to be turning myself into a Cyclops. I am gonna go ahead and take off my earrings because they're gonna get in the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a headband just to get my hair out of the way. And then we will begin. To save some time in this video, I already have a base on, I'm literally just wearing a base of foundation and I do have a little bit of contour and blush. That's just because I went to school today. You don't need to have that unless you want it, but that's what I'm working with. I don't have my eyebrows drawn on and there is a reason for that. I'm actually gonna block out my eyebrows. In the photo, the eye is pretty large and I think I'm gonna try and cover the majority of my face. It's gonna definitely take up my eyes. I, it might even take up my nose. I don't really know. I'm gonna try and avoid my nose and just like, have it go like this and around. I don't know though, we'll have to kind of play around and then I think I'm gonna do like a really colorful lip. But for the purpose of that, I am going to be blocking out my eyebrows because I'm not sure how well the face paint I'm gonna be using is going to cover them, especially because I don't know what color is gonna end up being on my eyebrows. It could be white or it could be the blue color I plan on using. I don't know, so I'm just gonna play it safe and block my eyebrows out. I'm using the Elmer's washable school glue. You wanna make sure it is washable because it's non-toxic and it'll be easier to get off afterwards. This is the disappearing purple color because I like to be able to see where I put the glue already. However, you can just go ahead and get the clear glue if you want to. This does dry down clear, um, but if you're worried for whatever the case may be, you don't have to. This is what it looks like. Now we're just gonna go straight on the eyebrow and start to stamp your brows down. Now all I am doing is you wanna go in an upwards motion and you want your eyebrows to stick straight up. Now this is gonna look really weird. Fear not, just keep on going. You're gonna wanna do this a couple times. You can see it's actually smearing off my foundation, but that's okay because we're gonna be covering that with the face paint anyways, so you won't see that. Then what you're gonna wanna do is take any translucent powder you have. I'm using the Pretty Vulgar Powder Room translucent powder, and I'm taking a powder brush. This is a Morphe E3 brush, and you're gonna wanna take a little bit of that and pat that on your eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the shade Fair Neutral. You can use any concealer and you can probably use foundation if you really wanted to. And I'm taking this and I'm gonna lob on a really generous amount. Again, it's okay if you see the hair texture for this because we're gonna cover it with face paint so you're not gonna really notice it. But you're gonna wanna glob on a generous amount of concealer on both eyebrows. And then I'm gonna go ahead, blend this out with a sponge that I have in front of me. All right, so that is good enough for what we're doing. I'm actually gonna go in with the Morphe and James Charles palette to kind of like sketch out where the eye is gonna go. You don't need to use this palette in particular. It's just what I have in front of me. You really only need a brown eyeshadow. And I'm going in with this small eyeliner brush I have. You can use any eyeliner brush. This is just one that I got from Sephora. It's the Pro Bent Liner Precision 23 brush. Any, like I said, any pointed brush is going to work. And I'm just dipping into one of the brown shades in the palette. Again, doesn't matter what you use. We're only doing this to sculpt out where the eye is gonna go. Now, I think what I'm gonna do, I want the eye to start like here-ish, I think. Looking at the photo, the Cyclops, 
has like a really short distance from where her nose is from like her eye. So I think I'm going to start my eye like maybe right here. Again, it's nice using eyeshadow because you can just go ahead and rub it off later. I'm also looking into my mirror. So if you're wondering why I'm like staring so intently, that's where my mirror is. And I think what I'm going to do is have the corner of the eye be here. And then the other corner on the other side be here on like kind of like where my temples are. And then I'm going to have the top of the eye go like right here, I think. Yeah, because if we decide to add eyelashes later, we'll have room for that. Next, I'm gonna take, again, same liner and same brown, and I'm just gonna kind of dot lines where the eye is gonna kind of go and take shape. And I think I'm actually gonna go uh, maybe even a little lower with this, the bottom part of the eye because I think it's gonna look odd if I don't. I'm gonna sculpt out really quick where I want the color of the eye to go. I know that there's gonna be like a little line above this where we're gonna put some shading in the eyelid, but the color of the eye is probably gonna end actually right where we put that prior line, like right here. And it's gonna start like here and go down. Like I said, it's important that we did block out our eyebrows because you can see that some of that color is not gonna cover the tail end of our brows. I'm gonna close my eyes so I can see where I'm going with this because when our eyes are closed, obviously it's gonna look a little different. Next, I'm gonna also sculpt out the circle where the black is gonna go for the pupil. All right, I look really weird and this looks like a mess, bear with me. And now I'm gonna go in with the Mayron Makeup Paradise Paint Palette. This is like the best palette to have. It is the water-based paint palette. Now this comes with all of the shades that I need, like all the primary shades. Now I'm going in with a, this is actually a brush I got from Amazon. I didn't wanna use anything like expensive or my favorite brushes to paint my face with because I don't want them to get ruined, but I'm just dipping this into a glass of water I have next to me because these are water-based face paint. You actually need water to activate it, but it's nice because when it dries down, you don't, it, it's easy to come off afterwards because water is what activates it and takes it off. So I'm going in with the white shade and I'm gonna start to actually paint my eyeball. Tape my eyes open to force you. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this shade over where we outlined the eyeball. I just think it'll be easier to work with a blank canvas where we know that the color is gonna go. All right, going in with Jeffree Star's Drug Lord, which is the his white liquid lip. I'm gonna actually just dab this on my eyelid. I know that it is weird, but Trust the process. I'm also gonna take this on my eyebrows. Again, I know that's weird, but I think that this will cover the eyebrow hair a lot better than the Mayron is going to. All right, now that we got this interesting base on, I'm gonna go ahead and take a fluffy brush and take light brown. And this is just because I don't want the eye to be like stark white. And I think that they do have a little bit of dimension. So I am gonna go ahead and just apply some brown where there would be shading like on the outer corners and like right above where the eyelid will cast a shadow. All right, now for the color. I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner brush that we were using to kind of carve out the color. I'm actually gonna go in with a blue eyeshadow this time and that's just because that's the shade I'm going in with. So I know that our color is gonna end like right Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna start from where I know the eye is gonna kind of fall under the lid a little bit, which is going to be here. And actually a little further out, like here. And I would say maybe here. I really wanna cover up as much of the brow as I can so that blue will cover it up. And then I'm gonna kind of mark where it's gonna go. I'm gonna go in with that brush that we were using to apply the white and I'm gonna dip that again in the water just to get that white off and I'm gonna wipe it on this paper towel that I just have handy in front of me. 
I'm gonna dip it back in the water again and I'm gonna go in with the dark blue in the Mehron Paradise Paint Palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and start to apply the blue shade. Nursery and count sheep. Because it is based off of a Barbie doll, I did wanna kinda keep that cartoon look a little bit. And it's very challenging to get like a perfectly round circle on your face. So just be patient. Going in with a different small, this is a Morphe eyeliner brush. I'm gonna dip into some of that blue and I'm just gonna clean up some of the edges that I have and just get it a little bit more precise. I think I'm gonna go in with a different brush and go in with a little bit more white and actually go out a little more. I, I don't know, I just think that it, the eye needs to go out more. So I am. Going in with that same eyeliner brush that we've been using to sketch out the shape, I'm going back in with that brown. And we're just gonna sketch out where the pupil is gonna go. Going in with the brush we've been using to apply the blue, I'm gonna go ahead, wash that off in the water and then just go in with my paper towel and just kind of get rid of the remaining blue. And then I'm gonna go dip back right into the water, pick up some black in the Mayron Paradise paint palette. And we're gonna begin to go in with that to sketch out the pupil. All right, we're gonna start some shading a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that light brown that we had used on the white of the eyeball. And I'm actually gonna take some more of that and I'm gonna take it, tap off the excess, and then just kind of like pat it on my hand gently so we're not putting it like straight on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start to shade the sides of the eyeball. Not too much, I just don't want it to be like a stark white color because your eyes really aren't. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a small, almost like a smudger brush. This is a Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush. I got this in one of the boxy charm boxes. I'm gonna take that light brown again, tap off the excess, but this time we're actually gonna go beneath the eye and this is just to create a shadow like it's popping out. So we're gonna actually leave like a really small gap between the eye and where we're gonna start this line that's gonna shade and just shade right underneath here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that brush again, go in with that light brown, and now we're gonna create the upper eyelid. And I'm gonna actually use the picture as a reference for this. It goes pretty far up. I'm also gonna take some of that brown and just shade like right here, almost like two like little C's, or one C on each side, I should say. People really aren't gonna see that, but I feel better knowing that I did it. And then I'm gonna go in with that eyeliner brush we've been using to sketch out lines. And I'm gonna go in with a different brown shade, a few shades darker than that original. And I'm gonna start to sketch the eyelid. It's gonna look weird, but we're gonna blend it out. So if you think that it's too dark, it won't be in the end. Going in with that shader brush. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out that line. But I'm gonna kind of stay close to where we originally applied it. This is just to blend out any harshness. All right, I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner brush that we've been using to sketch out our lines because we're done with it. We don't need to sketch anything anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the water so I can begin to draw on the black lines. You're gonna wanna take your time with this, but we're gonna outline our eyeball. It is. I see blood through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones. So I'm kind of like making the top of it a little bit thicker and then thinning it out on the sides. <clears throat> and you can see where that shading is kind of creates that depth effect. So you, it makes it look like there's an eyelid. So we're gonna go ahead and do this to the bottom part of the lid. We're gonna keep this line thin all the way around. And this is just because I feel like when you look at your own eye, it's a little bit thinner on the bottom and also the picture I'm using as reference, it's thinner there. So that's what we're doing. All right, so clean up any lines that you need to. I actually did pretty okay outlining, so I don't feel like I need to go in with anything. I'm gonna go back in with that shader brush though and take some more of that light brown, tap it off on my hand and shade more 
right underneath the lid. I do see that I came down a little bit too far on the edge right here. So I'm gonna take one of those eyeliner brushes, get rid of any black that's on them, dip into that blue again and just fix that spot. All right, you guys, I'm gonna attempt lashes. So I'm taking that eyeliner brush, the bent eyeliner brush, getting rid of that blue I just used to fix that one spot. Picking up some more black and uh, we're gonna go for it. I'm kind of looking at my reference picture that I have on my phone because all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. So that's like done with the eye basically, as best as we can get. There is some creasing. I might actually go in with some black and just pack it on here where it's creased because I don't like that. I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Titanic liquid lipstick. This was part of his Blue Blood collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lips. All right, so that is it for the face paint and the lipstick. I did overline my lips quite a bit. And that is just because I felt like with how big the eye is that the lips needed to be a little bit bigger to kind of compensate, especially since I have really thin lips. But overall, I'm actually kind of happy with how this came out. I like the more cartoony effect that I took rather than more realistic. I will say it's not entirely perfect. I did kind of screw, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I did screw up a little bit with the eyelashes just because I hate drawing on eyelashes so much. It was so challenging, but it was fun. It's not perfect, but we are here to learn and to experiment. And so, you know, practice makes perfect. I am pretty happy with the outcome. There are some things I would have done a little bit differently with the face paint. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell so you can see more videos like this one. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter so you can get additional content that you won't find here on YouTube. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Is it? Ew, I can make the eyeball do different things if I move my eyebrows. Ooh. Ew. This paint. Now, this is the very first paint. <laughs> Yeet. My own world of make-believe Kids scream